Hello. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter on YouTube. Uh, today I have a small unboxing for you from Tamu. I just got these in today. I'm so excited. I really need to stop ordering from here because I order way too often. It's just two diamond paintings and a tool. a little roller. I already took this one out. I haven't looked at the diamond paintings yet, but I took this out because I wanted to make sure I had something that would go on the end, which I mean you could use it like this, but it has a specific handle I guess it's supposed to go to, but I don't have one of those. So I had seen someone say they could just pop it in to the end of the one that they get. Well that fell out for me, but I mean it works. I prefer to just use my hand until I get a handle that this will fit. I was hoping one of my other diamond painting pins would work, but they're all just a little too... They, they have the screw in to not this kind where you pop it in the lock it or whatever goes in. Whatever connects it, I guess was the words I was looking for. Anyway, that wasn't the important part. These were the important part. Oh, I really hope these are good quality because it's Tamu. It's hit or miss with Tamu. Oh, sorry if it's really loud. I like the bags. The little zip top bags that Tamu's been sending stuff in to me recently because it used to not come in that. It used to just come in the gray bag. So now I have a nice little durable plastic bag that I can store stuff in. Because I'm running out of storage space, honestly, you guys. I have way too much stuff. Alright. This one is a Christmas scene. Hold on, let me check and see if I can see the prices and the names. Okay. So this one. Oh, if I could keep it open and get on the right page. This one didn't actually have a name on there. It says, create a stunning 5D Christmas tree with this DIY diamond painting set. It's currently showing at $5.97. Supposedly originally priced $13.49, but you know, nothing's ever the actual price on Tamu. It has 33 colors. And I am aware I say color is weird. My daughter tells me all the time. It's 30 by 40. I guess that's the company Lelemon. Lelemon. I haven't heard of that one. Let's see. Looks like it goes... I need my glasses. Excuse me. Don't know if I'll edit that out or not. I hate awkward pauses. Um, the symbols are numbered 1 through 7. No, 1 through 8. And then it starts with alphabet. And then it even has some like symbol symbols. There's a diamond, a pound sign, an and sign, a question mark, slash, percentage sign. Hopefully none of them are too confusing. Because it looks, it looks like you can see pretty good. I still can't zoom with this. I have to get a new webcam or some kind of recorder where you can actually zoom in and focus. Let's see. Some of them are quite dark. Like the four is by an and sign. I cannot tell that that's an and sign. Sign. But I should, I mean, it's a bright red, so I shouldn't get it confused with anything. Let's see. It looks like there's going to be enough collars to give it decent detail. I don't know if it's going to be great detail, but 33 collars for this size is not bad. It could be better, but it's not bad. It looks like there's a lot of color in the Christmas tree in the house. Little snowman. 
This is a little, like a sleigh and a child reaching up towards the tree. There's a wreath on a light pole. This looks almost like a resort. Might it be a really big house? Or it might be several houses lined up. It might be a town. And this is the town square and there's like ice. And a deer. Yeah, I think it's going to be cute. I'll probably start this in December. I have a couple Christmas ones, so it's going to be hard for me to decide which one to do in December, unless I try to do both, but I don't think I'll get them both done. It was a struggle to get both of my Halloween pieces done this month. I'm recording this in October. I'm not sure when it's going to go up on my channel in November, because I have everything already scheduled for October. All right, it comes with... The typical kit, the tray, the wax. This is a light pink. I've never had a light pink like this. The single placer with the, like, I don't know, three placer. I, I still don't know what these are. I don't use them. I have my own pens. And it comes with some baggies. Here's the drills. It's going to be loud. I'll try to remember to mute it a little bit or quiet it during this. some of the colors. There's not a whole lot of drills in some of them. And quite a few in others. We have some grays. It's just so glary. We have some grays. Almost a mustard yellow. Some of that kind of... I still don't know what mauve. It's like a pinkish Purple. I don't even know what color to call that. I'm bad with describing. Got oranges, burnt umber like thing colors. Taupe. Greens. I still haven't looked up to see if I'm right about taupe. I really should do that before I keep calling something taupe that's not. Different greens. Yellow, another brown, purples, because purple is my favorite color. I don't know why it's always looking more blue on my monitor. I don't know if it looks that way to y'all. And some light blues. So two packages is this one. $7.99, two packs $7.91. Yeah, I think it's going to be cute. I hope it turns out really pretty. And over here. Oh, I really like these kind of teal blues. Three packages of that. More of the tan. That's another kind of teal green. 939, which I think is like a really deep navy blue. It's almost like a, almost a lime green, but not lime exactly. It's too pale. It's, it's like a really light green, and there's another green. Oh, that's really pretty blue. Like a sky blue. Some really white looking. I guess it's probably more like a cream. I'm not sure what 3756 is. Some yellow, pink, another light blue. I really like these colors. So yes, I am really hoping that this comes out good with all these, these bright, pretty colors, along with all these more neutral. Alright, so let me set this aside and we'll get to the next one. This one I'm really excited about too. I'm always really excited when I'm not excited about getting a new kit. Diamond painting or cross stitch. Okay, this one, I'll have a picture up right now. But it says one piece, 5D, velvet cloth, brown plus AB, artificial diamond painting, Halloween white witch. Sewed by AB Diamond Art. The 
this has a five star rating. I didn't look on the other one. The other one's by Xinming, Xing, Xingming, something. It's got five star rating too. All right. Oh, I've never had the velvet cloth. It is really nice. It's soft. Oops, I dropped. are kind of creepy in this. Um, let's see, she is 30 by 40 centimeters. She only has 18 collars, so it might work, because if you looked at the picture, it's a lot of light white collars on a dark background. There's not a, a whole lot of collars in the picture. More than it's showing on here, but this still might be just enough to, like from a distance, it might not look bad. I really wish they would say how many colors were in a kit before you know before you buy it, because I might not have got it knowing it was only 18 colors. It was it's listed currently at four dollars and forty nine cents on the site. If it turns out like it's picture at all, it might be it might be okay. It's not going to be great, but it might be okay. I mean, there's a few colors in here. Baby Diamond Art. So the company and the store name is the same. Maybe it's one of those companies that actually prints their own stuff instead of getting them from warehouses. I don't know. Comes with one of these kits with the white tray with the, the spout. Comes with them bags, um, tweezers, the little one plate single placer, and the wax. Rattle again. These are all in individual baggies already, which I like when they do that. It's convenient for me. paper that shows you the number, the symbol, the collar, how many of each bead. That's nice. It's nice to know. And then how many bags, which I misunderstood. It's a 25.7 gram bag. That makes so much more sense. So 25.7 grams of 310 flag. Seven nine nine. Was that a dark gray? Four thirteen. Three thirty six. Nine fifty. Oh, something's loose. I think one of the ABs. They don't. It didn't quite look like the ABs. I have in other kit, but I don't think I have any of this light. So, but this number 17 is not sealed good. Number 17 is 5200R. And maybe it's just in the opening. Actually, I'm not even sure if those are the same. They're white, but they have like a little pink iridescent pop to them. 18762R. I guess the R's, yeah, are the the A B drills. Or their version of the A B drill. It just doesn't look as as sparkly and shiny as the ones I have in other kits, but it's still gonna be pretty. I can't tell if I'm disappointed in this kit or not. I won't know until I actually do it. What is the actual term people use for diamond painting? Like the process of doing it. Dotting? 
until I dot it, until I paint it, because I'm not painting. Got some loose ones in this one too. It's like I was happy to have the bags and then the bags were spilling. Hopefully, because some of them have very small amounts and are not sealed good. Hopefully they have enough to actually finish the diamond painting. If not, I will be going in and leaving a poor review because I am one of those people. I will go in and review all my products on Tamu. The good, the bad, the ugly. Which honestly, a lot of the stuff I get is good reviews, but not everything. And I say why I'm giving it that, you know, I don't just leave a star review. I go in detail about what my problem is. All right, so I'm gonna put this up. All right, I hope you enjoyed my small unboxing. Um, I do have more things coming. I have some custom kits. I have some larger cross stitch kits coming um, from a couple different places. I won't say the name yet because what if they don't show up and you'll be waiting for the unboxing of these companies and no go. So I will have links to everything in the description box. Um, I should have inserted pictures so you would have seen them. Please consider liking, subscribing, maybe sharing this video if you liked it at all. Um, here I am with the ums again. I just feel like this was a really short video and I'm just, I don't have anything else to show you. So feel free to follow me on my social media. I have Pinterest and Instagram, Facebook, Facebook blog page, TikTok. I try to post on a lot of them regularly along with my YouTube channel and shorts that I keep uploading. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I know some of you keep coming back. I'm not sure why, but I appreciate it. I appreciate the love and the support that I get from everybody. And I'm hoping that we will grow together and that we'll start a community and maybe I can start a page when there's enough of us so we can all talk and share our projects, cross stitch or diamond paintings or knitting or crochet, anything craft related, sewing. I would like to get more variety on here if I can. It's just like knitting and stuff. I, I knit slowly. And I'm just learning to crochet. Some of my cross stitch pieces are huge and take forever. I feel like I don't have enough to show you all. Anyway, I'm on a tangent. So I will end this here. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye bye.